Games nowadays are really tame with their content. Like, Modern Warfare, you barely see any blood, and they cut off a lot of things because they thought they might be a little bit too violent or offensive for some people. Skyrim, you see that even though you're singing a sword around and all of that, there's never really any dismemberment, or if there is, it's only in extreme cases. There was a time, back in the 90s, when games such as Duke Nukem, Doom, Postal, they didn't really have to worry about people being offended by the content in it. And between all of these violent games, one of them stood out, and it was called Blood. And let me tell you, ladies and gentlemen, it's a game that lives up to its name. Now, it's a little bit hard to record games that run on DOSBox. So if the footage is a little bit choppy in the following videos, I'm sorry, but it's the best I could do. The game starts with a cinematic where you see your main character, called Caleb, talking to the dark god Chernobog. He, this means that yes, Caleb is the bad guy of the story. Now Chernobog betrays Caleb by killing his friends and then killing him, sending him to a hollow grave, supposedly. However, Caleb gets revived, and that's where the game actually begins. I live again. You don't know why you resurrected, you don't know who resurrected you, or even you don't know why that this dark god that used to have you at his right hand betray you. So the main thing you want? Obviously revenge, and find out what the fuck just happened. And that's when all the carnage begins. You start off the game with a melee weapon, as it's usual with these FPS games. But you don't start with your fists, a knife, anything of the usual. No, you start with a pitchfork. Which is kind of brutal when you really think that he's going to be going around stabbing zombies and crazy cult members with a fucking pitchfork. I mean, that shows how brutal the game wants to be, right from the very beginning. Now the second weapon you get in the game, which I'm gonna count even though it's technically a secret, is the Sticks of Dynamite, which of course allow you to blow almost anything and anyone up in a billion pieces. And kind of a neat detail is that you can kick their heads around once they're in a million pieces. I know, it's sadistic as hell. And while it's not a weird weapon, it's just seriously, and I mean seriously fucking violent one. I mean, I don't remember the last time a game actually gave you so much destructive power in, well, the very first couple of seconds into the game. Third weapon you get is a flare gun. Now the flare gun doesn't damage people right away when you stick them with it, but give it a couple of seconds and... Look at that, the guy explodes into fire, he starts screaming in excruciating pain, and yet he's still trying to kill you. That's something really horrible to see. The other weapons you find in the game are things like shotguns, tommy guns, a tesla cannon, which is actually pretty neat, and a couple of weapons that are based on voodoo. One of them being this voodoo doll that when you use, it actually hurts you, which is kind of a metaphor for how the main character is self-destructive. One of the neat things about this arsenal of weapons is that it, all of them have a secondary fire mode. Like for example the flare gun. The first fire mode just sets the people on fire after a short while. The second fire mode however uses a little bit more ammunition but sets them on fire right away in a mini explosion. And that is something that's actually pretty good for when you're surrounded by a crowd. When you think about it, every single one of these weapons is made to be the most violent possible thing that you could get while still making it relatively balanced. I mean, the most merciful way you can kill someone is by dismembering them and then kicking their head around. And... I mean, fuck. I like my hands bloody. Shut up, Caleb. Oh, what the fuck. Is that a heart? Now, don't get me wrong, because I like violence too, just like any other gamer out there, seriously. But it just feels a little bit awkward when your main character is this evil guy. And that's really what you are in this game. You're the bad guy of the story. You know, this is no hero like in Doom, or this is no badass with a good reason like Duke Nukem. No, this guy just wants to fuck shit up because he likes fucking shit up. That's what was so controversial about this game when it came out, is that you literally are 
the bad guy of the story. I mean, yeah, you're killing the Dark God, but you're not killing him for the right reason. No, you're not killing him because he's killing too many innocent people. No, you're killing him because he fucked with you, and now you're gonna fuck with him. And I really mean it when I say that you're the bad guy, because there is other things about the game, which I'm gonna go into now, actually. The power-ups are just as bizarre as the weapons, so are the stages. Because in the power-ups, for example, whenever you kill someone, whenever you dismember them, like I said with the dynamite, you can pick up their hearts. Yes, you actually recover health, not by a meth kit, but by picking up someone's heart. That's disgusting. I mean, imagine if, for example, instead of using coins to recover, Mario just took his hand inside a Goomba and then pulled out his beating heart and was like, ah, I have an extra life. God, now I need mind bleach. The stages are one of the main appeals of the man. game, though, because they're all grim, they're all mean, they're all... You know, they feel spooky, and they have a lot of references to spooky stuff. Like, there are references to Jaws in one of the parts where you have to go on a boat somewhere. There's references to H.P. Lovecraft. The last stages are very influenced on Frankenstein. And there's influences to a lot of other stuff, too. Like in the cheat codes, for example, you can there are references to Jason. There are references to Freddy Krueger. There's even a reference to Lara Croft, which is actually a cheat code that gives you unlimited ammunition. Kind of neat, really. Now this game is very good when it comes to gameplay. I mean, aiming is not hard. Getting items isn't difficult, and you can easily master the weapons in the game if you can get over the fact that they're incredibly sadistic. But there's one thing in this game that's really hard to deal with, and that's the difficulty of it. Now, there are six stages of difficulty in this game, and they are very weird, because you will think that the third one, which is one called Lightly Broil, will be medium, like it is in most games. Turns out, that's actually meant to be hard mode. Now, the six stages are still kicking, which is easy, pink on the inside, which is normal, Lightly broil, which is hard, well done, which is very hard, and then there's one called extra crispy, which is like saying, oh shit, they are going to nail you to the cross now, bitch. And you know, I might be exaggerating on the difficulty levels a little, maybe lightly broil is actually normal and I just suck at the game, but it's just that the game becomes really challenging when you try and play on that level. And I know games are supposed to be challenging and all. I actually like games that are hard, like Super Meat Boy, for example, recently. But it just is a little bit exaggerated to say that that's normal difficulty when you have to fight like six guys at once that all have tummy guns and whatnot. Blood is one of those old games that didn't really care about what the general public thought of it, but more of that the gamer who actually got it had fun playing it, whether it was just because the gory stuff, the incredible amount of detail they put into everything, the gameplay, or just the gritty and stupid jokes it pulls every now and then with all its references. It's a game worth checking out, whether you like FPS games or not, and of course, a heat of warning, you probably are going to need a strong stomach for some of the stuff that happens in it. And that is Blood, ladies and gentlemen. A very good game that you should totally try out. I am Aliens, Raw Input, signing off. I sure could use a drink. Me too, Caleb. Believe me. <laughs>